right? He's feeling better, okay? Jalen's feeling better. But there wasn't enough practice reps to feel comfortable that we made a decision to go with Jason. And uh, we'll see what, how we go from there, okay? How about that one for an opening statement? I beat you to the punch, Jordan, didn't I? <laughs> Before the game, uh, we learned that Brian uh, wasn't here due to a personal matter. I guess is everything okay with him? At this yeah, point? yeah. Brian Borland had a medical procedure that we knew was was going to be happening. It unfortunately was delayed. That uh, the procedure took place yesterday, and um, he's doing well. He's at home, and uh, you know, keep him in your thoughts and prayers. And everything's on a positive thing, and uh, we expect him to be back in the building very soon. First game, what are your quick observations from uh, this first game? Yeah, you know, so much as, as I kind of was doing radio and talking to the team, you know, so much there's, um, you know, we get off to a good start on both sides of the ball, then then unfortunately we turn it over and, and, and you know, they capitalize, uh, get stopped on fourth and one, so a little bit. But, you know, you, you need those things in, in, in games, and I, I thought we – you know, I was proud of our coaches and our players because I didn't see us. We didn't flinch. There wasn't a panic. Um, you know, we we stayed the course, and um, we talked about at halftime that you know we'd have a chance to to wear them down a little bit in the second half, and and we thought we could, and I, I think we did. And then we started to create we a couple nice plays by a couple corners, and the thing kind of gets you know a little out of hand pretty quick there, and it's good. Um, Thought Jason played really well, really did. You know, I don't know, what was he? He had six incompletions, and boy, I don't know. You know, there's some 50-50s and something else. I thought he played pretty well there. I, I thought it was, you know, Daniel felt terrible about putting the ball on the ground, but it was good to see him come back and 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 make a nice physical run, um, especially everything that he's gone through. Um, you know, Dylan McDuffie gets his first carry scores. I mean, that's neat. And then Savion's kind of been battling. You know, he's had a couple injuries, and he kind of gets forgotten, and then he comes in and runs. So, again, the depth there. Um, uh, I know I'm kind of ra rambling there on some guys. I, I think the receiving core showed itself again. It's depth. Trevor Cardell, I thought, showed up again, and as well as others. Uh, Trevor Wilson made some in probably – other than his catch at Duke or something a couple of years back, I think this is the most impactful contributions he's had since then. Uh, that's exciting. Um, we saw a speed in the return game from him. So, and I thought the versatility of our offensive line was good too. On the topic of Jason Bean, thinking back, I guess, how fortunate do you feel that very, he made the decision very, to very, come very. back? Very, very, very. We were just talking about that on the arm. We're pretty. If you said it on the sideline, Jim said it. Uh, we've said it multiple times. But you guys are here in the room every uh, every week with me. How many times have I talked about Jason Bean's improvement? I, I have, haven't I? And, and sometimes you get those things that you're just saying. Uh, he continues to get better. Um, he's done everything we've asked. He's never um, – and, and watching him mature and be more confident, you saw that. Like. Um, I kind of refer to the radio interview. I think one time he flushed maybe to his left. If you look back, remember his first year, every time a jersey, he was always running lateral. And, and even on his runs um, tonight, the few that he had, he really turned the corner and planted his foot. He didn't look to go out of bounds. All those things that uh, we challenged him to be better at, and he has, and uh, really happy for him. Generally, what did you see from the defensive line? It seemed like, at least in the first half, those guys were really getting some penetration. Yeah, I thought we did. I I, I don't have the first half. I thought that, if I remember right, because I glanced, because now with these new clock rules and that, I'm trying to remember, uh, you know, looking at numbers of plays just to see what's happening. Hopefully, if I don't talk too long, you all get hit your deadline sooner and get get to go home and stuff now with these new rules. But I think they had 33 plays. Anybody have that on them? First half? Total plays by Missouri State. You don't have, nobody has that? Okay, but somebody correct me if I'm wrong when you quote me, but if there is, I, I thought they had 33 plays and we had like 25. 
and they ended the game with 48. So I, I thought, again, we played pretty well. Yeah, there were some plays, that, like, say, the short fields and that. I didn't think we gave up explosive plays, really, which, you know, which, which was good. And I think that's that was good with that front being disruptive. I thought, you know, Devin Phillips was very good. I thought Gage Key showed up a few times. Talking about some of our new guys. A guy <clears throat> that really been limited and I thought showed up was Patrick Joyner uh, a little bit, as, as well as, you know, Jeremy and Austin. Austin had the penalty. Um, I, you haven't had a chance to see, but I mean, it's too bad. You know, I hit him low. He's got to remember the target zone on a quarterback. So, um, a good step. Um, you know, Taiwan had to be taken out again. You know, he's been limited in camp. We just hope we get him back. But JB Brown, I think, showed again that, you know, we've been talking about him and I think he's going to help us. Well, we heard about Jordan Peterson getting the chance to call the defense. Just yeah. how, how do you feel like he dealt with having that extra yeah. responsibility? I, you know, you know, like I said, you know, we we didn't know for sure when this was with you know, you know, Jordan's coordinated before. Uh, as I told him, I I said Jordan, I was ready for a kickoff. I said, you know, tonight when we got here, I said, you know, I haven't talked to you a whole lot about, you know, other than what's normal because I sit in the room, I listen to him plan. I said because I have the utmost confidence that you do you you'll do a great job, and I I thought he did, and. Uh, you know, uh, Mark DeLeon did a, did a nice job filling in up in the booth. Uh, I thought our whole staff, and, and that says a lot about about all of them. So, um, but yeah, it. Um, so I feel I'm very fortunate to have we we have a great staff, and and uh, and you know, just like when your players and somebody's down. But we knew. I mean, Brian's. You know, we've been aware of it, so it wasn't like. I mean, I can say this is like this wasn't like. A sudden thing with 24 hours. We we knew um, in a good two weeks. And I want to ask about that pick by Quentin Lassiter. Just a play like that. What yeah. does that do for his confidence getting on the field and doing something like yeah. that? Yeah, you know what what a great young man. He's you know um, kind of an unsung leader in our program. Well respected by everyone. Guys worked extremely hard. Been patient. Never never uh, shows body language that he's he, he's. Uh, He's upset or, or, or disappointed in any way, and he just keeps working. And he's uh, extremely proud to be a Jayhawk, and and pretty cool. And I, I didn't know until um, probably the series before that his brother was was on the sideline there. So it's kind of neat for them to uh, again to share that experience. On on Bean, real quick, when did he know that he was going to be the guy? Tonight? Well, just by the amount of reps he's had, he's he pretty much knew that it was leaning that way and uh now again when when we came through when i when i sat with uh, you know, you know jalen was just getting back to practice and doing things and and it was it was it was hopeful there and uh but um you know it was a good problem to have and, and, and if you watch jalen warm up uh, I think he's feeling good it's it's kind of a day-to-day -day thing to keep making sure he feels feels right and uh um, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. And, and then with your, you've talked about the receiver depth. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder, you guys went down 10 7, and then it, on that next drive that you had, Bean hit LJ for the, the deep yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. and, and two things about that. I wonder how important that play was tonight. But also, do you do different things? I mean, do you still look for those shots, whether it's Bean or Jalen, or, or oh, yeah. does that yeah. change? Anything? I mean, there's not a discussion that, that Andy and the offensive staff are going, well, yeah, we're not going to run these plays. No, certain guys are going to run certain plays better, and see. But um, you know, again, our depth showed up. I mean, uh, Luke Grimm didn't finish the game, and you know, Doug Edelman comes in and blocks his his tail off. Tory Lachlan gets some plays. Trevor gets more plays. But explosively, especially with uh, Quentin and and Lawrence, you know, there's a chance there to to kind of answer some things and 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 take some shots down the field. We're gonna have to continue to do that. How big did you feel that play was? Oh, extremely. Because again, when you fall down, all of a sudden you, you worry yet about where we're where where we're sometimes at fragilely of, of being able to answer things and when when things don't go your way. And um, again. I think we stayed aggressive. I think we were aggressive on fourth down. We were aggressive on fourth down even later in the game. Um, and uh, some are going to work. Unfortunately, some don't. But uh, I, I think that really helped our guys, uh, obviously. Time for a couple more. Yeah, Lance, 
uh, Seth Keller comes in in his debut. He's perfect. I mean, what's it like to bring in a guy and he's giving you special teams right away like that? Yeah, he, you know, that's why we brought him in. You know, we thought he was extremely accurate. Um, you know, you know, you know, we haven't really tested him deep yet in, in things, but um, you know, again, a fine young man, very mature. Um, I think he's the only guy on our team married. So, you know, so, um, but uh, um, no, it, it, it's good, John, to see, and, and you're happy for guys like that. And, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, there's a, in games like this, you want to get guys in. I think we got to play a lot of guys. And I guess if there's one guy you don't want to play, that's your punter, and he didn't get to play tonight. So. Anything else for Coach? Yeah, thanks everyone for being here. Have a great weekend.